Hello children of God. My name is Yemi. I hope you all are doing well and thank you for always coming back to this channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if this is your first time here, you're welcome. We're starting off with scripture reading. Luke 22 from verse 42. It reads, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. This was Jesus praying to the Father. This word is for someone who is feeling discouraged right now because something that you really wanted did not happen for you. The door that you knocked on so hard did not open for you. You were denied something that you really, really wanted. And because of this, you feel rejected. You feel like nothing good ever happens to you. The Lord says, the plans I have for you is far better than what you have planned for yourself. I know what is in your future. I see the bigger picture and I know what you need for what is ahead of you. For I am the beginning and the end and everything in between. The Lord says, I did not allow the door to open to you because it will have led to a disaster. The Lord says, I did not allow the door to open to you because it will have led to a disaster. Praise God. The Lord says, I am making room in your life to move in ways that you cannot even imagine. So trust my leading, for I am leading and directing you along a path that will be beneficial and profitable to you. Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Praise God. For the person or people that this word is for, God loves you so much. He loves you too much to allow you go with a plan that negates his plans for, his, for your life. He loves you too much to allow you walk through a door that would have led to disaster. God loves you so much. And today he's telling you that he has something better for you. What you wanted is not what you need. And God wants to give you what you need. He has something bigger for you. Praise God. Today he's telling you to surrender your plans to him and accept his plans for your life. I just sense it in my spirit that joy is coming to you right now. Joy is coming to you right now. It is near. I declare it into your life that joy is coming to you right now. New doors are opening to you. God is leading you to that which is meant for you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for this word. We thank you because you are a good, good father. Thank you because you love us so much. Thank you, O oh God, for the way you keep us, for the way you guide us. Lord, we say thank you. Thank you for everything you are doing for us, your children. Lord, please send your angels right now to strengthen your children, Lord. Send your angels to strengthen them this hour. Please uphold them, Lord. Uphold them, Father. And let their lives be filled with your joy. Let them be encouraged right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Praise God. God bless you.